Gary Warren and Head of Professional Academy. Yeah, I think, I think for us, um, especially now, is, is looking at the guys that, that don't, don't make it after, after they come to the end of their professional careers. Um, it's important that we support them as much as we can and, and kind of provide them with as many opportunities as possible. Um, at the moment, it's kind of providing them with, with extra qualifications such as coaching, um, whether that might be within the football environment still, uh, personal training courses, um, looking at uh, like education routes as well, uh, courses within the, the University of, of Inverness. Um, that's a partnership that we're looking to kind of build um, for the f next coming season. Um, so it's all about kind of providing as much support for, for these guys as possible really. Um, I think you know that probably only one or two are going to go on and, and make it in the professional game. So it's, it's giving the rest of the guys a, a platform and an opportunity to to strive in maybe in other, other areas. It's, it's a great partnership for, for us, first and foremost, kind of having that relationship with you guys. Um, it's going to provide these boys a, an opportunity, probably a once in a lifetime opportunity to go in maybe abroad to, to America. I think these guys are kind of have been maybe a little bit isolated up here and, and not really experienced the world. Um, so going out and experiencing somewhere over in America where they get kind of the education provided for them, um, first class coaching, an, op an option, an opportunity where they can, can strive in a, in a different kind of climate, different culture. And then hopefully if they, if they do well over there, there's, there's no reason why they can't kind of flourish in, in the States. Um, but then it also gives them an opportunity to, to come back and, and play over here. Yeah, I think you, you only have to look yesterday. Um, us playing kind of Celtic yesterday um, and a couple of the boys on show yesterday that, that are really flourishing in the top, top level over in, over in Scotland. Um, I think it's, it's, it bodes well now for, for boys that, that, that do go over and come back. Um, it puts them on a platform um, and you, you get noticed. Um, so it's, yeah, it's a really, really good opportunity for us. Yeah, we've got a few. A few boys that at the moment are, are, are really, really keen. Um, I think at the moment they're, they're still kind of holding on to that, that, that prospect of becoming a, a, a professional with Ross County. Um, but. But like I said, there's only probably going to be one or two that, that do go on and, and make it. Um, so, so these guys have got to have like another option, an option in terms of where do they go next, where do their futures lie. And for me and for, for us as a, as a football club, we, we see this as a, as a great partnership. So my, my role is kind of under 16s to, to 18s, so 16 year olds, 17 year olds, 18 year olds. Um, it's an under 18s group that I, I take care of. Um, and these boys will, will come from, from all over, really, all over Scotland. We've got lads that they are right up north from, from Caithness, the Shetland Islands, um, all over the place. Um, and they're all kind of aspiring to be, to be the next, next footballer, um, and that's, that's their dream. Um, so if we can, we can forge a kind of a partnership and a relationship that, that takes care of the guys that, that don't have that, that successful dream, um, then, then we're doing our bit and, and hopefully providing something for them. It, oh yeah, I'll be first out there, don't worry about that. I'll be on the first flight and be staying out there for a long time as well. It's the Florida and California. That's right, where the warm weather is, you're right. <laughs>